Hello everyone, my name is Andre McClendon, and today I'm going to talk about the indicator called ZigZag. I'll be programming this on MetaTrader 4 or MQL4. Let's begin, guys. So first off, what is a ZigZag indicator? Now, uh, ZigZag indicator is a very easy indicator to program with. It also only has three things to uh, worry about, the death, deviation, and backstep. And this is how it looks on the screen. So if you zoom in a little bit, you can see that it's basically getting basically all the high points right here basically on their on the scope and it goes back three candles starting from here and you guys can step it back if you want more if you guys want it to read back more all you have to do is go to indicators go to zigzag and maybe go to like five and deviation maybe six and you guys can go depth even higher to say 20 and you'll see that the screen will the indicator will change a little bit see it goes even more back so it basically goes from all the highs and lows swings that are relevant on the indicator settings. So it's a very easy program uh, program indicator. Now, what you can use with this is create different points, like uh, you can put your stop loss or your your uh, pending order at these points. So let's get into programming, you guys. Uh, first thing we need to go to MetaQuotes. And all you need to do is go hit New. We're gonna call this the zigzag. All right, zigzag test. And for zigzag test guys, we're gonna open it up a little bit and scroll down to the on tick. Now, when creating this guys, we're gonna we're gonna be looking at making a double. Now, I have discussed doubles in the past, but if you're new to my videos, guys, so a double basically is a non-whole number. And basically, when it comes to looking at this right here, you'll see that the uh, this right here is point zero point five nine. 265 stuff like that these numbers so you want it to read a value at this level so when you look at the zigzag level down here you want it to read all the way through not a, as an int or int and if it's an int or int it's not going to read the entire values so we got a zigzag we're going to use i custom now zigzag is not preloaded on here but you can just guys can download it and zigzag pretty much has only three values to worry about so um, when we're creating this we call i custom Null is going to work on all uh, currency pairs. Zero is going to be for default. We're going to need to name the indicator, and this is one that I'm using called zigzag. Make sure you use quotation marks for it. Okay. Give it a second. All right. We're going to be. We have three parts: depth, deviation, and backstep. We're going to use zero and zero, zero for the shift. Okay. And before we continue, we need to uh, put our values, our int values, in there. We're going to use our depth as twelve our uh, deviation and our back step three. Okay, so this basically default settings. And we're gonna create this out a couple times, guys. So as long as you have that down, we're gonna be creating this right here. We're gonna be uh, making a zigzag one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now there's other ways of doing this. I'm just making it as simple as possible. All you guys, guys all you need to do is change the shift and the name and it's from zero to one, two, three, four, five, all the way down to 13. Okay. So now we're going to be looking at uh, making a comment for it. And I talked about this uh, in the uh, previous videos, but you, all you want to do is hit something like this in the fine and be fine in L. And when we do that, when our comment section, we'll basically break down our comments so we can post a little bit lower. Okay. We copy our comment section, which would be part of the code right here. Second. And once we got that in there, guys, we'll be able to read our comment section while it's been running. Okay. Wait a second right here. So basically, this zigzag will be printing out zigzag 1, 2, 3, all the way down to 13. And if there's a value, we'll see it. If it says nothing, it will be 0. And so, guys, once we're done with the comments uh, portion right here, you guys will be able to read it out. So what I decided to do... For this video when it comes to zigzag is show a physical representation of what's happening okay and this is how i'm doing it we want to create an if statement saying that if zigzag is greater than zero we're going to create an object and this object is going to be called zigzag it's going to be a horizontal line and it's going to be zero comma zero zigzag now make sure make sure you copy this down exactly to make sure the zigzag and when it's not there we want to delete it so this value, create it, no value, delete it. And we're going to do that across the board for all the other uh, 
zigzagged uh, portions, okay? So if you guys look at this, you guys can just duplicate it on through, and you'll see we have it all the way down to zigzag 13, okay? Uh, remember, this code will be on my website, so please check it out. And basically, uh, we're going to be creating lines, horizontal lines, for every time the zigzag portion comes out, okay? Hit compile, no errors. We go back to MetaTrader, and we are going to look for our test, which is called zigzag. So it's probably at the very bottom, right here. Zigzag test, we're going to use it on pound yen. We're going to hit start. You can see that we do have a value. We're going to add zigzag to our screen with default settings. And you see, we have our zigzag portion here. We have it at 158.8, um, 157.824. And if you guys cannot see that, here, let me change it, do this right here. Just go to properties and guess and change it up. And let's run it through. And you can see that every time it creates a zigzag portion, we will have a horizontal line created. And it just keeps on going that way, see? Horizontal line will keep following it. Now you guys can do this for multiple things. You guys can use it for pending orders uh, by just disparate placing that code of the uh, object create with something else with a pending order. Uh, you guys can do it with a vertical line, triangles. You guys can use it with horizontal lines, like I'm currently using it by changing the color or making it thicker. Using it with words, you can actually use it combine it with fractals too. So. There's multiple ways you guys can do it. I just try to make it easier and a little bit different this time, guys. And you can see that, once again, it just keeps on going. You guys can make this a range area, make it for support and resistance if you trade that way. So there's multiple things you guys can use with this code. And I try to make it as easy as possible. So once again, check out my website, andrejmclinton.com. Go to the MQL4 portion for the free information on there. And also, if you want to learn more uh, about my business or join, uh, learn more about my uh, YouTube channel, Please join my Telegram. You guys can contact me there, see all my updates and stuff. And if you want some of my services, uh, before buying them, just contact me first about it and see if, if we can discuss it, okay? But basically, it's going to keep on doing this uh, indefinitely until it gets to the current price. But that's the uh, video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for making it to the end, and I'll see you later.